uh, advisable. Uh, let's take another look downtown there at uh, at Columbus and uh, see how Elise is doing. Elise, how's, how are things down there in Columbus? Good morning, Jason. Well, I have to agree, the roads are definitely dangerous. I know coming into the station this morning on the highways, I was traveling only 25 miles per hour, if that, probably at least going even 20. We're here at the Franklin Park Conservatory. You can see how much snow. It looks beautiful. So like we've been saying all morning, if you don't have to leave the house, hey, stay inside. You can see all of this ice that's built up on the sides of the roads here. Like we keep saying, just pretty much really icy roads. And if you haven't made your way outside yet, you can see like that car there, you're going to have some digging to do to get your car out. A lot of the cars we've seen have been traveling pretty slow, which that's a great thing to do today if you do have to leave the house. I know speaking with ODOT, they told us that they had 280 trucks that had been out throughout the entire morning. So, of course, they've been busy trying to clear the roads for us. They say one of the main things is the wind that they're having to worry about because they say that it keeps brushing against the streets. I know I've also checked for John Glenn International Airport. If you are planning on traveling today, there are some delays and cancellations, so just make sure that you are checking that as well. Again, we keep saying if you don't have the leave the house, just stay in. When we're talking about the temperatures, Hattie, I am pretty cold. So if you <laughs> want to know how cold I am, here's a pretty good example of just how freezing I am. If you can stay inside or if you want to take the kids out, I did some practicing and the, uh, ah. the snow is pretty good for packing and building a snowman. So, hey, why not? <laughs> why be outside where it's dangerous roadways where you can go just outside in your backyard and not be driving around and make yourself some a snowman here? So yeah. uh, we have to say we're local for you in Columbus, <laughs> Elise Chingari, NBC4. Go ahead and build yourself a snow, Elise. <laughs> I am dying to know where those things came from. She just carries around a blonde wig with her, I guess, Elise. This was from a Halloween costume. Because <laughs> clearly you needed that. That's amazing. I love it. I hope to see more snow elises everywhere. Everyone, you can go outside just to build that.